What's going on, Throne Arm? We have a custom string and video for you today, and it has a ridiculous amount of heads, so I'm gonna get right into it. Our first head is for William, and this is actually the first Rabel I've ever strung um, that is a non X spec. Um, I actually prefer the uh, X spec to the non X spec, similar to the Cobra. I really like the Cobra X, but I don't care for the Cobra as much. So if I was gonna make a decision, I would still go the Rabel X. It's just a little bit too pinched for me, and uh, I'd much rather have a little bit wider head and then really make up for it in the string and to get a really nice channel in it than just relying on the head for the channel. Um, so that's quickly, but uh, he actually bought this LE torch from us a while ago and has been saving it for the right head and this thing is a beauty so it's a warrior rabel as i said with an apprentice pocket in it with 15 mil le torch mesh it looks unbelievable up top we did black and white sides we did white throat we did black heavy top nylon and black and a white shooter and a white shooter lock um it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous nice channel to it really nice mid sick i mean i wouldn't change a thing on this um i hope he absolutely loves it the next is for Doug and it's a Warrior Evo 3X with a tight D pocket. Um, he did six diamond navy fade, did navy stringing, or no, black stringing all the way around, silver in the throat with a black, um, matte black screw and two black shooters. Uh, really awesome colorway. And then this head and this pocket go to well together really well. And I don't know, awesome D setup, not much you can ask for. Really defined mid pocket, it's really gonna hold the ball. It's got a nice channel to it. It just looks really nice. I really like the silver um, with the black and navy. Really, really clean. The next is for Drew and is a Easton Stealth. And it's actually the older model because it still has the Talon logo on the front instead of the, the new Easton logo. Um, it has a king pocket in it with 15 mil white throw mesh. Up top we did navy and, or sorry, maroon and white. Sides we did white. Maroon in the throat with the gold screw, which looks really, really nice. Heavy top nylon and black, white shooters and white shooter locks. Um, this is actually the first time I've put a king in one of these. Came out nice. It's got that nice boxy king channel to it. Nice mid high. Um, this one's a little bit lower than other ones just because of the cant of the head. Um, but it came out nice. Came out really nice. And I love the gold screw with the maroon um, kind of uh, Denver themed. Looks really, really nice. The next is for Jeffrey, and it is an STX Superpower with a Type M pocket. Really nice combo. It's actually the same head that I released this pocket in. It's got 15 mil white in it. White going all the way around. Heavy top nylon and white. Shooters in white. And, uh, it's just awesome and you can tell right there it's sweet it's got that really nice high pocket to it I'm gonna give it a good whip um, with a nice smooth release with decent hold and uh, not much to say about it. really clean really classy uh, it's gonna be one hell of a stick for the 2013 um, regulations in the NCAA the next is for Dominic and this head is unreal it's definitely my favorite head in the bunch it is a warrior blade pro that I dyed volt um, if you guys follow me on Instagram I uh, had a photo of this also with a vaulted surgeon and Rabel um, this thing is so beautiful looking it's got 15 mil black fade in it with a king pocket up top we did um, black and volt sides we did black throat we did black it also has a black screw Heavy top nylon and black and volt shooters. The only thing I would have done is give it uh, black locks, but it's gorgeous. Um, so nice. You've actually seen the king a few times in the uh, in the prints. It works out really nice. You get a really, really high pocket. And uh, it feels awesome because this head has very low offset, as you can see. That's why it's so good for face-offs, or one of the main reasons why it is. Um, but... With it, you're able to get that really nice high pocket to it, and it's not going to give you too much whip. It's going to give you that really offset feeling um, without having a super offset head, um, which is going to cut down on whip and uh, uh, make up for the, the head not being as offset as you would like it to be. But um, just insane. I don't think I even have to say anything. Um, looks unbelievable. The next head is for Vincent, and he picked up this STX Superpower off me and strung it with a king pocket with 15 mil Carolina. Up top, we got Carolina and white. Sides, we got white. Throat, we got white. Heavy top, nylon and white, and Carolina shooters. Um, I really like it when, you know, it's all white and then just one color, similar to, like, uh, the red and white uh, with no black in it. Um, really nice. You've seen this pocket countless times, but it never gets old. Uh, really, really amazing combo. The king combination, the king and the Superpower. The next is for George, and it is a Warrior Rabel X in Carolina Navy and White. Really sick colorway. And then he has an apprentice pocket in it with 15 mil Tracer LE. So this is the glow-in-the-dark mesh. Um, up top, we did Navy and White. Sides, we did Carolina. Throat, we did Navy with a black screw. And then it's got a heavy top nylon and Navy. Carolina shooters and a Navy shooter lock. Uh, absolutely amazing colorway. And the pocket on this thing is ridiculous. 
um, so so nice nice mid to it um, it's awesome and not to mention the color is just perfect between the head to the tracer that it's gonna glow in the dark um, unreal um, definitely one of my favorite heads we've ever done it's almost a shame that this these two are together because this one wins out because it's you know more towards throne theme but this one is just a beautiful beautiful head the next is for Douglas and it's a warrior Evo 3x with the Leviathan pocket in it it's got 6d forest green fade up top we did forest side we did forest white shooter in the throat and then all white shooters um, really clean really classy um, really awesome defensive setup you saw the type D in the other Evo 3 so here's the Leviathan um, they're very similar um, just one's NCA legal and the other one isn't um, really nice super defined mid pocket um, just gonna have so much hold on a long pull and um, they all really seem to love it uh, this pocket so and we also just um, announced uh, a pre-strung of this with the STX hammer U under the pre uh, pre-strung section um, on throneofstring.com the next two are for Philip, and the first one is a Warrior Rabel, another non X spec version of it with an Archer pocket, and you can just see how ridiculously channeled it is. Um, came out really nice. It's got, as I said, it's got an Archer with 15 mil white throw mesh, red up top, red on the sides, red in the throat, the red screw, heavy top nylon and red black shooters with white shooter locks. I feel like Mad Laxer is really gonna like this one. Um, it is his favorite colorway. The channel is just insane. And you can see how nice the placement is. Um, really, really nice setup. Um, so that's his first one. And the second one, I can argue, is almost nicer. And it is a Warrior Blade Pro with an Outlaw. It's got 15 mil white in it. Then up top, we have black and red. Sides, we have red. Or black throat, we have black with a red screw. A little bit different than the other one. Heavy top nylon and black. Red shooters with white shooter locks. Um, just awesome. They go really well together. Um, one's a, more of a tack setup, the other one's more of a midi setup. Um, definitely two sick colorways. And uh, he also picked up some tracer and also some extra pieces of white. But you can see how channeled both of them are. Um, even though one's mid, one's high. Um, both came out really nice. And the last two hits for Cole, and they're both Evo X's. Um, came out really, really sick. I'll actually show you. Um, this one first and uh, it's got they both have apprentice pockets in it this one's got 15 mil white and then it's got royal stringing all the way around it heavy top nylon royal and shooter with a white shooter lock really nice touch to it uh, and this is actually the head that i introduced this pocket on um, great combination because it, it gives you a really wide head for catching but um really narrows that channel um for shooting and is extremely accurate so um, definitely recommend um, this combination so that's the first one and the second one's got a little bit more going on to it, and this is actually Chris's favorite head. Um, so this one got a royal fade treatment to it. And then it's got 15 mil white, white stringing going all the way around except some yellow in the throat, white shooter setup, and um, a white shooter lock as well. Really, really nice setup. Um, same pocket, same shape. Sick. So here's the two for Cole. Um, definitely look awesome. I love the fade one. Um, nice and classy, but it's got a little bit more going on to it. And so this is Chris's favorite, and this is my favorite. Um, probably also my favorite cannon. I would love to shoot with this thing. It would be extremely accurate. Um, a lot of the Super Smash Laxes I use in Apprentice Pocket, but uh, my favorite definitely goes to uh, this crazy, awesome Volt blade with the black fade. So that's all the heads for this custom stringing video. As always, let me know what your guys' favorite is, and at the bottom, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we should have another one in the next few days. As you see, there's a giant pile behind me of heads. Um, we're trying to get them out as quickly as we can, so when the season comes, you guys can have um, your heads as quickly as possible. So that's everything, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and talk to you guys soon. six with a type m pocket in it um really really nice so it's got 15 mil black mesh in it um with the type m up top is red and black sides of